Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to do my first upgrade on my 2019 Lowrider. I'll be installing an engine guard and here's the model information if you're interested. I'll also put a link in the description. So I chose the mustache engine guard instead of the standard one. The insulation is just three bolts, so this should be fairly simple. I put some of this packaging foam down just to protect the bars from getting scratched, and I also covered the fender with some shop towels so I don't end up scratching that while I'm putting the bar in. The other thing I'm going to do is move this clutch cable a little bit just so it doesn't get pinched. That should do it. The little plastic plugs on here are threaded, so if you can get some pliers around there and start twisting, you can kind of loosen them up and, and you should be able to unscrew them by hand the rest of the way. Okay, these bottom frame bolts don't seem to have any thread locker on there, so I'm going to put some on there right now. Okay, so this top bolt here is one quarter inch hex. These bottom bolts here are a T45. Okay, I got the bottom ones tightened. Now I'm going to tighten the top one here. Okay, install's done. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go take this for a quick ride. The install was pretty simple, just those three bolts. Uh, the hardest part was probably getting those plastic plugs out of the bottom. The, the plugs are threaded, so had I known that going into it, it would have been a lot easier. Um, what I ultimately ended up doing was grabbing the front of that with uh, some needle nose pliers and kind of uh, just turning it counterclockwise and it came right out. Um, I was at first trying to 
uh, stick a flat blade screwdriver in there. I was afraid of scratching the frame. I guess it's trial and error, huh? So these bars are the mustache engine guards, and they do have some standard ones that are quite a bit cheaper. Uh, these, I think, were $289. I had a $250 credit that I used towards this. Um, that was related to that uh, service incident that I alluded to er in an earlier video. What ended up happening was my 48 Special, um, I bought that thing with 995 miles on it. They assured me that, uh, you know, the fluids had been changed out, 1K service had been done, being it was that close. I took them at their word, had the bike for a few months, uh, put a few hundred miles on it, not too much, just local commute stuff. I actually thought I was doing something good, I went in there to swap out the oil and upgrade it to synthetic. I, I kind of had a, a weird feeling about that last dealer. So at this place, I asked them, uh, you know, can you have the service techs take a look at the condition of the oil? It should only have a couple hundred miles on it. You know, let me know if it looks like it's clean or not. And um, the primary fluid as well. They reported back to me and said that they pulled out the, the magnetic plug from the primary. There were a ton of shavings on there. And they said, uh, you know, if that had been recently done within a couple hundred miles there wouldn't be that many shavings on there so it was pretty much a, a giveaway that it hadn't been done yet and then they said the oil looked pretty dirty as well so um, I did bring it back up with with that dealer and they made it right but I'm not doing business with them anymore just because uh, they lied about it just to make the sale went over there and um, you know got the the gift card now I'm done with that place anyway I'm on a, a quick mission to go pick up some toys from a dog. His favorite toy got a hole in it and he's getting stuffing all over the place trying to eat it. Can't have him eating stuffing. So, I want to buy him some new toys. Mission accomplished. I don't know what it is. This is like his favorite toy. My errand is out of the way. These are for me. These are amazing. I really need to get some storage on this bike. Like this backpack kind of sucks. They have some like quick release docking system thing for the back of these soft tails. I actually went to order the set yesterday and they were telling me that Harley discontinued it. So I don't know if they're just not carrying it anymore or if they're modifying the things. Like maybe some uh, people are having some issues with them. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into it. Next stop is home, so I guess I'll cut it right here. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button. Until next time. I love that sound.